black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsor request coming in hot from Raven Gardner. Raven Gardner slid in the sponsored request box. Hit me with the fundage and the request of Taco Bell style Crunchwrap Supremes with maybe a little twist on them, but I'm gonna give them pretty classic because I do like them just how they are. We might add a little couple pickle jalapenos in there because they don't usually do that there. And we're gonna try our hand at blending a couple sauces to make the perfect Taco Bell mild sauce. I think I got it on the head here. So we got all the ingredients. I'm ready to get into it. I really love these and I'm excited. So once again, big shout out, Raven Gardner. What's up? All right, first things first, most important part of these I do believe would be meat. So we gotta get the pan on, hot, hot, hot oil swirl in the bottom get it hot 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 and then we gotta go in with our beef fresh nice and fresh beautifully grounded just today all right gotta pop this beef in all right we got her going firing off nice and crispy fried on this side give it a Little flipperoo, put some color on there. Start breaking it down. All right, and because no matter how hard you try, your seasoning mix from scratch will never taste like Taco Bell, we're gonna go with President's Choice Taco Seasoning Mix. Obviously work her around, work her in. A little bit of water to loosen things up a little bit. We're definitely going to need this water for when we make the beef Taco Bellified, and you'll see that in just a moment. We've seen it here many times on the channel, but you might be new to it today, so I don't know. But hold on to your hats because we're going for a spin, and you already know that if you've been here for a while. All right, here's how we're doing it bowl in, wettish meat in. We definitely need the moisture, and you'll see why in just a moment here i do feel like taco bell has more of like a not wet beef but definitely like a smooth consistency not dry too much you know malleable beef all right pop out your immersion blender aka the whipping stick and get her down in there nice and under as low as she goes and just slowly pulse this off into the taco bell consistency of their meat like I said, kind of wet, pretty malleable, definitely like fine grain, all right? It's not chunky, it's not thick, it's quite broken down. So there you go. There's your Taco Bell meat, nice and thin. Okay, so next on the docket, Taco Bell mild sauce, my favorite sauce. I need a P.O. box so some of y'all can maybe ship me some because they don't sell it here. But in my head, I wanna say Valentina tastes like quite like it, but it's not quite there because when I look at their sauce, it looks kind of like taco sauce, like traditional taco sauce, but it has the flavor profile of some Valentina. So I'm just doing a little life hack of some Valentina with like half taco sauce. And I feel like that's gonna get us with a perfect Taco Bell mild sauce. Put them over a little heat, blend them together, and I feel like we're gonna find ourselves at the perfect Taco Bell mild sauce. So Valentina, traditional taco sauce, mixed. And there we would have it. All right, next up, we're gonna need a light bit of, uh, you know, queso, cheese sauce, whatever you wanna call it. This goes in with the beef mix when we build the actual crunch wrap. So a little bit of Chez Whiz in there. A little dash of water just to loosen things up as it heats up and that'll be that old faithful cheese whiz always making the quick and easy perfect cheese sauce i don't care what you say it's just easy and the best and i personally think it tastes really good i love cheese whiz i cannot lie all right quick little bit of prep we know this the roll the chiffonade of the shreddy letty that's all we gotta do you guys know how it's done quick and easy shredded iceberg that's what's up taco crunch wrap anything taco bell would not be it without some shredded lettuce all right quick bit of tomato
this down into small nice little dice pieces that's all we need diced tomatoes done into the bowl mise en place everything in its place we're almost there we just gotta shred some ched all right time to shreddy some cheddy not the thick side thin side that's how taco bell does their cheese thin side we gotta have those thin strands all right what lies behind this door a nice amount of beautiful Shreddy Chetty, the string version, nice and small. It's probably too much, but you know, you can never have too much shredded cheese. It's the best. All right, prep's all done. Nothing left but to construct. So we've got some big boy tortillas here. But just in case it doesn't completely fold in on itself perfect, I do have the mini tortilla for in the middle to close the seal. All right, first things first, I just got to see how big these are. So we're looking for a meat pile about yay big. All right, we're gonna lay our meat in the middle. Spread her around into about that big of a disc. Should be good right around, right around there maybe. This is where the queso comes in. So it's just like a beef and cheese layer. And I am constructing these to the exact replica of how they do it at Taco Bell, the exact same, you know, architectural design. Okay, next up we got our crunchy tostadas. I'm gonna put two in because they do tend to sog out from what my previous experiences and I want like an extra crunchy. So we're gonna do that like that. All right, and according to Taco Bell, next is a nice sour cream layer spooned around the tostada. Onto that goes the shredded lettuce. You guys know I like a lot. Next on top of that goes tomatoes. A nice, good layered amount. Lastly, it gets topped off with that shredded cheddar. And we definitely have lots to go around, so we might as well load it up. So here's the part where I gotta fold it in on itself and hope that it completely seals. And I just don't know that it will. So I think I am gonna opt for this tortilla to kind of stitch it together. So we do that. And then from here, I've never folded one of these, but apparently it just naturally happens. You just put one side in, fold this side in on itself, and you just continue that same process. So it comes out almost like hexagonal or maybe octagonal I don't really know what it's gonna end up as maybe octagonal like that so we have it all tucked in it was a good move that I did that because we were gonna need it oil and I got my brush here for the oil so we brush it all around just a nice light coating and then we take it to the pan on like a nice medium low just to toast it close and shut all right nice medium low just for toasting we'll get that nice and warm real quick oil side down that needs to seal up a little bit of a press we're going one at a time these boys are stacked they're much bigger than an actual regular taco bell one but we're gonna let that toast up while it's toasting on that side we oil this side just nice and lightly not too much all around all right here we go moment of truth i think we're at a very nice golden but we'll see and it's perfect all right so here we go we got front side back side nice toast nice toast got two more to do and then we're eating all right, I do believe that I'm gonna keep two of these in final form, but we should get a cross section on one, and I think this is going to be the sacrificial crunch wrap. So let's do a little cross section on this just for a reveal. See if we still got some of that crunch from the actual tostada. But here we go. Cross section reveal. And I do believe that is perfect, nice, and beautiful come on doesn't get a little much better than that i don't say and there it is a beautiful crunch wrap supreme come on now all right meet me at the table let's get to eat what up it's the return of the man in the pink hat it's been a while but every time i do something taco bell ask or tacos or things like that 
I feel like the pink hat has made its appearance. So we're bringing it back for that. Today's subscriber sponsored request, as you already know, brought to you by Raven Gardner. Came through looking for Crunchwrap Supremes, and here they are. I'm very excited. It's looking delicious. And we also know that it wouldn't be a mock Taco Bell without a Baja Blast. So we got a Baja Blast. And before we do anything, we... <laughs> and before we do anything more, we must papa pour. So I'm just going to put this back here because I can't really move that right now. And we got the nice Baja Blasty on deck. Soup's excited for it, to be honest, because I just haven't had a Baja Blast in some time, in a good old while. And uh, it really is one of the most majestic sodi pops out on the market, I, I would have to say. So, inaugural sip. And once again, it just continues to escape me as to what that even tastes like. I, I can't describe it, but it's so good. Okay. Ready to get into a bite with this hybrid, easy peasy throw together um, Taco Bell mild sauce in my mind, how I think it would be. So let's go ahead and get into the cross section one because it's looking absolutely perfect, I would say. Definitely need a nice line of the mild sauce across. Should I show you once more? I will. Okay. Well, we're dripping. Can't do it. <laughs> All right. I'm really excited for this. I love crunch wraps. Let's go to this side, actually. Mmm. Oh my God. Wow. Listen, I don't mean to toot my own horn or hate on Taco Bell, but this is so much better than one of theirs. It's just when you put the tender, loving care into it yourself. And you get enough of all the ingredients. You know, when you stack it with two tostadas. the right amount of meat. Oh man, that is amazing. I feel as if maybe this one I kind of want to try with an extra dab of sour cream. I brought a little extra sour cream here. Go ahead and lay that on with obviously the medium that I made. And I will say this, the blending of the Valentina with the actual just taco sauce, pro move, it really worked. I do have an American uh, viewer friend. Working on getting me a real true Taco Bell bottle. 
and sending it to me. So I'll have to compare when it gets here. I actually looked up the Taco Bell sauce on Amazon. It's expensive. It's like 25, 30 bucks for like a seven ounce bottle. We never pay that. Must be in high demand. Alright, I have no idea which one has the pickled jalapenos in it, so we're just guessing here, but we're on the search for it because I do want to try it. So we will cross-section this guy and hope that our first one has it. Nope. Does look amazing though. But nope, this will be the one with the jalapenos. I just want to see how the jalapenos change the flavor profile. Okay. What's going on here? Did I just eat the one with the jalapenos and I just can't tell? Am I tripping? Alright, I'm not losing my mind. This is the one with them in it. I don't know, it's crazy how much... I put lots in, but you can barely see them, but they're right there on that edge. Crazy. Alright, gotta go deep dive to find them. There we go. Right there. I feel as if they're not super noticeable, more or less. Just blending a little more spice. But kind of, yeah, just a little more heat. Kind of negligible. One thing I am bummed on is. And it happens at Taco Bell too. Is the tostada. It never remains crunchy. And I know that that's like the main point. Of the name Crunchwrap. Is that aspect of it is supposed to be pronounced, but they always go limp. I wish that they would in there you know I am fired up face matching the hat sweat is starting to trickle out here definitely the jalapenos kicked in that's for sure all right I'm definitely going to get through two of these 
just because I feel like the way I make them, or I have, like, you know, just a homemade, is definitely, it's fatty, like, it's a real, it's a real amount of food, I think, I feel like Taco Bell is just, it's like eating air. Their tacos, everything, even their crunch wraps. It's, it's it's mostly like a tortilla, with flat with kind of some stuff like. There's no real volume. See, there's the crunchy part. They seem to have remained mm. not that crunchy. Oh man. Delicious, but I'm hitting the wall. I will say though, these are Grand Slam. Close to a perfect score. Nine out of ten. The only thing that would take it to a ten is like if the crunch could remain crunchy. That's all I want. But you can't always get what you want. No way, no how. Maybe later. Okay. Stuffed, flush, hot, all the things. But uh, appreciative. Thank you, Raven, for coming through and sponsoring the video. I hope I did justice to the crunch wrap on your end. And uh, if anybody else is looking for a video like this, down below read through the details link is there hit me up and we'll have a discussion but till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true